What's going on YouTube? Gias no right here. So in today's video I have great news for those of you waiting for a jailbreak on iOS 12.x, being that iOS 12.0.1, 12.0 or iOS 12.1.2 and so on, but not iOS 12.1.3 or 12.2. So a new jailbreak for developers has been released, but this one also has SSH. So you are able to, you know, navigate into the file system of the device and see your files and do other stuff. But this one doesn't have a remount. So this is actually a jailbreak for developers, but yeah, it has been released. So I decided to make a video on this so that, you know, there is progress and that we are working on it. So yeah, just an hour ago, Jake James posted, quote, release rootless jailbreak 3.0, add initial support for iOS 12. Now for now works on A9 to A11. So no A12, but will be added. And it says no tweaks or code injection yet. It spawns SSH via drop beer, which is actually very important. Developers only, and it's not recommended for the general public. And it says read the readme. So yeah, this is the rootless jailbreak project started by Jake James back in the summer. And it's actually very, very similar to my jailbreak, the Osiris jailbreak in here, Osiris jailbreak 12, which I'm currently working on. And although I don't have drop beer working yet, I do have netcat, which pretty much allows you to do the same thing to see your files and to, to run various commands in a remote shell. So they're very, very similar, but they have different approaches. Mine uses chillin and some proprietary code by me. And this one uses jailbreak lib, which which is a um, somehow copy of Chilin if you want to. Well, not a straight copy. It's something like Chilin, but this one is open source. So yeah, if you take a look in here, you can find information about it, but the iOS 12 portion is what interests you, which tells you what is going on. So there are no tweaks for the moment, no code injection, there is no AMFID patch, and there is no jailbreak diamond yet, and of course no remount. So this one doesn't remount the file system as read and write, and therefore you're not able to like install CDM and and to do any kind of stuff like put binaries in other folders than the uh, you know var partition and stuff like that. So it's a very limited jailbreak, just like my Osiris one in here. But this one also has SSH, so this is actually better. I'm currently working on getting SSH for mine as well, and I will release an update. But for the moment, mine doesn't. So if you want to get SSH as fast as possible, although you cannot do much with it for the moment, you can use Jake James's uh, rootless jailbreak in here. But it does support iOS 12, and this is actually a very huge progress because we pretty much went from zero to having something and it's now available. And surprisingly enough, iOS 12.1.2 and 12.1.1 are still signed to this date. Even with my jailbreak available in alpha stages, Jake James's jailbreak available in beta stage apparently or whatever that is. And of course the exploits available. In this situation, Apple should have closed the iOS 12.1.2 and 12.1.1 signing window a long ago, but they did not. So this is actually your chance to be on a perfect version. If you're running iOS 12.1.3, definitely go back to 12.1.2, save your blobs. When they stop signing these, only iOS 12.1.3 will be signed, and that is completely useless for the moment, since we do not have any exploit available at the time I'm making this video. So be very careful and be on the right version, that is 12.1.2, 12.1.1, or if you're lower on 12.1, 12.0, and so on, you should be fine as well. I have a lot of things planned, including A12 support and so on, so stay tuned, and also stay tuned for rootless jailbreak if you're interested in that. This one also has SSH already, but this one you will have to compile yourself. In my case, you do get the binaries. Um, if you go here to the release, there is the IPA file if you don't have a Mac. But for the moment, as far as I can see, the rootless jailbreak doesn't have a release in here. So you would have to download and compile the program yourself. Not a big deal, but it requires a Mac and of course Xcode installed. However, if I will get an IPA to compile, I will publish it if Jake James approves. This is the first iOS 12 jailbreak to contain SSH and of course Osiris was the first jailbreak to contain you know the root, sandbox escape and so on. So yeah we're working on it, there is definitely progress, it's not the end in here, we still do have a lot of things to do, but at least something is indeed moving. So yeah stay tuned, I'm going to keep you updated with anything that's going on in the jailbreak community. You can check both Osiris and rootless jailbreak in the description down below. I'm Geosnow and till the next time, peace out.